hello again my name is Pranit and in this video we are going to create moving average bands and also we are going to create buy and sell signals with the moving average bands indicator so let's start with the video so now let's start with the code of the indicator so first we need to create is input controls of the indicator input controls so the first thing that we need to create are the length of the moving averages so length EMA length 1 is equals to input dot int uh, remember that we are using the version 5 of the pine script so input dot integer title is equals to ema1 and then defval is equals to 30 minval is equals to 1 maxval is equals to 50 and the step increment of 1 and then ema length 2 EMA2, this will be EMA1, yeah. And the default value, I'm going to keep it as 30. The min val is 1 and the max val is 50 and the step increment is also 1. So as we have created the input controls, we need to create the indicators. So indicators, so EMA1 is equals to TA.EMA. So generally, uh, the EMAs are calculated on the closing prices, but as we are creating bands of EMAs, we will calculate the first EMA on the high of the prices and we will calculate the second EMA on the low of the prices. So the source will be high and the EMA length we have created. Just copy and paste the code below. EMA length 2 and the first indicator is based on the high of the prices so the second will be at the low of the prices so now just plot these indicators so plot EMA1 sorry EMA1 and then give it a color color is equals to color dot new and then color dot red 0 and again EMA2 color is equals to color dot new color dot white you can give it any color you want and I'm just going to give the color as red and white and then just save it okay so there is one problem over here yeah so the variable is wrong fixed it and yeah so now you can see that we have created the EMA indicator uh, the red is the EMA1 so the EMA1 is 13 which is calculated based on the high of the prices and the white is calculated based on the low of the prices so bo obviously both are 13 EMAs uh, you can keep it as 20 if you want all you have to do is go to settings of the indicator and then change the length from here 20 and 20 uh, you can keep it as anything you want I've kept the max limit as 50 uh, so you can keep it anything you want. I'm just going to keep it as 13 and 13 uh, Which are the default settings that we have kept in the code So basically this is how you can create a moving average bands indicator and now we are going to create a strategy around it So Buy and sell rules so it is a most basic strategy uh, obviously uh, I don't know what the backtested results will be but I'm just going to create it so you can have an idea how you can build a strategy with moving average bands so we are going to see the backtested results as well uh, but for now let's just create the buy and sell rules so buy is equals to ta dot crossover of close and the EMA1 uh, which is nothing but the upper band Cell is equals to ta dot cross under and then ema2 
and then we create the strategy 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 dot entry so give it an id long when so when are you going to make a buy entry so we have decided the uh, buy entry that is when the close crosses and closes above the ema1 we are going to enter a long position and then strategy dot long and give it a comment is equals to buy yeah so copy and paste the same below so the id will be short when is equals to sell strategy dot short so this is nothing but the direction that we are going to set over here and the comment will be sell so as we have created the entry conditions let's create the um, exit conditions so strategy dot close so id will be long so we are going to uh, give it an exit criteria when we are going to exit our positions so strategy dot close when is equals to buy exit so we have not created the buy exit yet and comment is equals to buy exit and do the same for short sell exit and comment will be sell exit so now let's just create the rules for buy exit and sell exit so buy exit is equals to ta dot cross under of close and EMA2 so when the prices closes below the EMA2 we will exit our long positions and TA dot crossover of close and EMA1 so when the prices closes above the EMA1 we will exit our short positions so for buy exit it is when the prices closes below the EMA2 we will exit our long positions and for sell exit when the prices closes above the EMA1 we will exit our short positions so save it let's see yeah. so you can see that we have an error over here strategy dot long okay so um, I think yeah so give it a direction so direction is equals to direction is equals to save it and then uh, just change the indicator to strategy as it is no longer an indicator we are creating a strategy so save it and you are good to go so as you can see the net profit is 919.8% but obviously this is wrong uh, as we have not set the initial capital as well as the commission and slippage so change the initial capital to 3 lakhs and the commission and slippage will be 0.03% and you can see that the net profit is 269.17% which is obviously not bad but the strategy is not consistent still the strategy is not working well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter to the buy and sell conditions so let's see if if we improve our strategy after adding this filter so it is a very simple filter of the 200 EMA so net profit you can see it is 138.65 percent so and and close should be greater than the ta dot ema close comma 200 and the same close should be less than the ta dot ema close 200 
so this filter is we are only going to take long positions when the close is greater than the 200 EMA or the prices are above the 200 EMA and for sell it is nothing but we are only going to take short positions when the close or the prices are less than the 200 EMA or below the 200 EMA so just save it and let's just see no still the strategy is not improving so let me just change this to 50 save it yeah so now you can see that uh, it is 229.52 which is still not uh, that good from the previous net profit and the, you can see that the strategy is not consistent which is what we always need we need a consistent return still the uh, performance is not good so, so obviously the strategy will not work as it is a simple strategy so we can definitely create a good strategy based on moving average bands by adding some filters but obviously it needs more time but this video is only about how you can create moving average bands and how to generate signals with the moving average bands so but i'm definitely going to bring a video on uh, how you can how can you use moving average bands and create a profitable strategy so my next video will be on that so remember to subscribe so you won't miss the next video so so give it a 63 so this is my last try 63 save it and you can see that the strategy is still not profitable just change the time frame and see if it is working okay the drawdown is high still the drawdown is high four hours yeah so you can definitely see that the four hour chart is giving us some good results although the maximum drawdown is about 24 percent but still uh, this is an extremely simple strategy and the results are quite good uh, just let me check the initial capital i've kept as three lakhs and the commission is 0.03 percent and you can clearly see that it is definitely giving us some good results uh, only the maximum drawdown is high so let's see if we change the settings and parameters of the indicator how the strategy performs so let's just keep it as 20 yeah and you can see that uh, the maximum drawdown has decreased and the net profit is almost the same so when you keep the four hour chart the strategy is performing good 21 yeah so it is not much of a difference if you if you want to keep it as much higher although i don't think that is a good idea uh, you can see that the maximum drawdown is increasing and the net profit is decreasing uh, so 20 is what giving us good results so see you can you can easily create some good strategies based on simple indicators and you can add some filters to it and see how the strategy performs and you can see that the net profit is good to 97.43 percent so this is how you can create ideas and build your own trading strategies so yeah so basically this is it with the indicator so if you want this uh, code all you have to do is go to indextradingstrategies.com the link is in the description and you can go to contact us page you can just drop me an email on index trading strategies at the rate gmail.com or you can just whatsapp me at this number or what you can do is i've added the link of the whatsapp group in the description you can just join the group and i can send you the code in the group as well so if you want to learn more about trading strategies just go to the courses section you can see all of the trading strategies that i've created so these are these three are the most popular courses that people have enrolled in so you can definitely check it out the link is in the description and if you have any queries related to this indicator uh, you can directly reach me on whatsapp and i will make sure to solve your queries and remember that i've created many trading strategies uh, intraday trading strategies pullback trading strategies as well as swing trading strategies so the link of all the videos are in the description so make sure to check it out and if you like the video please subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this trading indicator so thank you for watching this video see you again in the next series